So what we've got here then, so we've got two cables. Wow, I get a lot of messages. I've got two cables. I've got a six mil at the bottom and I've got a one mil at the top. Okay, so six mil, one mil. Clipping distances, will they be the same? Yes. Yeah, great. Yeah. Same. So you say no, um, Dan? What, what, are you, what, no. what make you? Okay, so which one would have more clips in it? Six mil. Six mil. The, the, the smaller one. Why? Because it's more flexible. Right. Yeah, it's, it's one of them brain freeze moments. We know that you know, this, this naturally will sag that little bit more because obviously it's, it's not self-holding. So the, the more rigid the cable, so when you're doing mineral insulated cable, and we looked at, we looked at it in the classroom, did we? Did I do a demo on it? Did I strip it? Like, no, did I miss it out? Was that going to be the, oh, I've, done, I've done a video on it. But, oh, yeah, it's, it's the same, isn't it? There's <laughs> always a video. And then come out, I've, done, I've done four videos on MI. So, so what we're saying is when the cable is naturally more rigid, the, the maximum distance between the fixings increase. So it isn't always bigger cables have more fixings. It's all about the rigidity of the cable. So we can find that maybe six mil cable is clipped less frequently than one mil. These are the maximum distances between clips in accessible areas. So when you start finding cables that aren't in accessible areas, you might find the clips are a little bit more sporadic. And that's the, the title part of the page that people miss. So we're going to work out the clipping distances of these cables. And we're going to need the on-site guide for this. So let's go to the on-site guide first. Do, 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 do. thought it was nicked on my freaking post-it notes. Okay. It's all right. It's not a problem. Is there anything uh, next to you? Yeah, email me some. <laughs> yeah. I'm in Appendix D on page 139. Let's have a look at Appendix D, 139. Appendix, what page? Uh, 139. Appendix. I always find this funny when, you, when you're searching for this in the index. It says cable supports, not clips. So people yeah. tend to look for clipping. It supports, cable supports. So we're going to need to look at page 141 within that appendix. Table D1. Yeah, table D1. It looks like that, bad boy. Okay. okay, we're going to need to do some annotations on this. Um, column one has a title that says overall diameter of the cable D starred millimeters. I've highlighted mine with a little bit of old fluorescent pen there just to give it a little bit of a highlight. It's the diameter okay. of the cable. Yeah. Yep. This is where people go wrong because they look at column one and they look, think cable size. So if I've got a one mil cable, I'm using column one, first row. If I've got a six mil cable, I'm using column one, row one. That's not the case because it's the diameter of the cable. To help me, I've done two drawings at the bottom of the page. I've drawn a flat profile PVC cable. In other words, end on. And I've drawn a round armoured cable like so, oops, as well. So see how I've done those two drawings? Can you add those drawings to the bottom of the page? You haven't got them already. Yeah, so I've drawn the two ends of cables and put the letter D for diameter. So with that being at the bottom of the page, I should be able to work out the clipping distances. Gets a little bit more again on the, on the tables itself. We've got to look for the following. So let's look at above columns two, three, four, and five. You have the title that says non-armored, Thermo setting or thermoplastic PVC sheath cables. So really that's talking to us about our twin and CPC. Mm -hmm. So again, if you wanted to put above that twin and CPC cables, that would be where we're looking for those. Above columns six and seven, it says armored cables. Some people like to add the words SWA in there as well. Okay, so I want to put SWA in there. And then on the last one, mineral insulated copper sheathed or aluminium sheathed cables. Sometimes people like to write above that MICC. So just to give themselves a little bit more of an idea. So whether you can see that, just put twin and CPC, SWA, MICC. Okay, it's not the, it's not the overall rule, but it does help you when you come back to it to, to understand what you're looking at. Okay, we all cool?
Again, look at the title. What does the title say? Inaccessible positions. So, in other words, I would argue that's on the surface, yeah, within a reasonable distance of where you are. So where cables are, say, clipped to a joist, a joist is then plasterboarded and has a floor over it. Could we argue that those cables are accessible or not? Not accessible. Not accessible. Yeah. Not accessible. So in that instance, maybe there isn't the, necessarily the need to abide absolutely by this rule. But when I used to clip cables, when I was clipping it, I clipped to support the cable in the position it was in. If it happened to have a board or a floor on it, so be it afterwards. But if I was clipping it, it had the distances accordingly. But just the same accessible positions. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the diameter of these cables. I'm going to do a one mil thing. I'm doing one, two, five, and six, which is handy because that's what I've got. So I've got the cables here, and I'm going to take my rule. And you'd normally have one of these on your desk at college, and you do it yourselves. And we, we'll actually measure the diameter. Now, looking if I use the six mil as the one. You've got to measure it at the furthest axis. So in other words, at the furthest part of the PVC. OK, so the, the major axis. So if I take the one mil cable first, which is here, and I measure that. I haven't got my glasses on, so I'm going to have to use the old force. OK, and uh, let's go with yeah, let's go nine, eight or nine mil. So let's go. What's that? Let's go eight mil. I think that yeah. isn't. Eight mil diameter. So that diameter of that cable is eight mil. Okay. So let's have a look in the on site guide on page 141. Column number one. What size is the diameter in column number one on the first line? Um, below nine. Oh, below nine. Is it, is it below nine? It's up to and including nine. Ah, so, so let's, let's be careful. There is, there is the triangle and a line under it. So we've got the, yeah, followed by a line. So yeah. it's saying the diameter is up to and including nine mil. So where I was saying, oh, is it eight or is it nine? I was still okay because I'm still falling in that section. So that first one says diameter is up to and including nine mil. Now we've got a choice now on whether we're in a caravan or in general use for our thermoplastic PVC. Well, we're saying we're in domestic dwelling. So we're using numbers two and three. Yeah. The maximum horizontal distance is how many millimeters? 250. Yeah, 250. Yeah, 250. Yeah. And vertical? 400. 400. Can we put the cable clips at every 100 mil if we wanted to? If you wanted to. Yeah, because these are what? Maximum. Maximum. So we can, yeah. we can be more frequent with our clips. We can't be less frequent. So I say in the workshop normally a 300 mil rule of thumb because – Obviously, you know, we've got all different cables, diameters, all the rest of it. So I say no greater than 300. I think when we did all of ours, ours were considerably less. We're probably looking at that sort of region. So we've got two maximums here, horizontally and vertical, 250, 400. So when you're installing your systems or you're getting us out on your on-site visits at domestic installer, don't be clipping cables that don't comply to, obviously, what's stated in the table. Just get your right ump with us. Mm. OK, let's take the next cable. Let's do 25. So let's do 25. So if I take my two five mil cable, measure its major axes. I've gone probably ten or eleven without the glasses on. So let's call that let's call that let's call that ten. Ten mil. Let's look at back in column number one. So back into column number one. Yeah. Are we going to use row one? No. 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 We've gone down to row. What does row two start at number wise? Nine. Nine. No. Nine. No, it doesn't. No. It's ten. Ten. Greater ten than above. Greater than nine. So we've got ten. Agreed. Okay. What's yeah. the, what size does it go up to in this column number two? Sorry, 15, column one. including fifteen. Ah, so it's greater than nine and including fifteen mil. Yeah. Ours was ten. Clipping distance being three hundred uh, horizontal mil horizontal. Yeah, and four hundred vertically. So our clipping distance, has it increased or decreased? Increased. Increased, ah, increased and horizontal. Yeah. So that goes back to what um, Dan said. The cable now is a fractionally more rigid. The clipping distance in one of them is actually increased in distance. The maximum. You can go more frequent, but the maximum distance is increased. So that was a good spot earlier on. So we'll do the six mil next. Take the six mil. I'll take my really good set of eyes. And I'm going with, let's go 13, 13 mil. 
look back into column number one and we're still on row two do you agree yeah yeah because we're not um not gone beyond 15. we're not exceeding 15 so the clipping distance remains the same do you see that yeah okay so that makes a nice piece of logical sense okay yeah we'll do uh an armored cable while we're here so just have a look at it so we've got steel armor cable again we need to measure its major axes and let's go with 16 let's say that's 16 16 mil it is 16 mil for that armored cable look back into your column number one can we use row one no no it's up to nine no. can we use row two row two no no ah so now we've fallen onto row three which is greater than 15, 15. and up to 20, up to 20, including yeah. 20. 20. Yeah, up to and including 20. What's the clipping distances for armoured cable then? 400 uh, horizontal. Ah, so no. be careful. Where are we going along to? We're in columns. Horizontal is section six. So you want 400 horizontally and seven, ah. uh, 550 ah, so vertically. Yes. See how easy it is, Tim, to get caught up with the previous one. Yeah, so we've yeah. got to move along now to steel wire armoured. Steel wire armoured is 400 <laughs> and 550. Let's look back at as if it was a twin cable. Yeah, so the, the, the numbers are different, aren't they? They're actually yeah, they less, are. less frequent. So the armoured will be more rigid. The maximum distances are greater for those. If you look at the very last column, it goes only up to 40 mil. There is a footnote in the bottom of the page. It says cables with diameters greater than 40 mil. We should recommend you do the what's expected from the manufacturer's instructions. Yeah. So we have to go with that. OK. Happy with that? Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. So, again, it's one of them pages that start familiarising yourself to go towards a domestic installer. I don't expect you to look at it and measure every end of the cable and the rest of it. But if somebody comes out from the NIC, Alexa, NAPIT to come and do your domestic installer inspection and you can't even work with the page. So if they said to you, what's the maximum clipping distance of the cable you've got? You flicked it open, you measure your diameter and can tell them it. They'll be thinking, well, is he just spraying it wherever he fences it, if you know what I mean? It's one of those. So good page to, to start becoming really clear with.